Thank you. We're back here at the field in the CS50 Fair. I'm Jason Hirshhorn, and I'm with... Uh, Andrew Lewis. Andrew Lewis. Do you go by Drew? Drew, yeah. Okay. True. Andrew, where do you live? I campus? live in Leverett House currently. You live in Leverett House. Mm -hmm. And what year are you? I'm a junior. You're a junior. What's yeah. your favorite thing about Leverett House? Favorite thing about Leverett House uh, has got to be the setup of the towers. I like the way that the, the U structure works. In do you the, live uh, in the towers? Yeah, I live in the towers in one of the U's. Do you have a nice view? Uh, no, not a great view, but nice room, spacious single. Okay. And your project, what was the motivation behind this project? Um, I'm a pretty terrible like uh, planner of my day, so this was a scheduling app to help me sort of stay on track, track what I have to do, and tackle it in the most efficient way possible. Can you give me an example of a time when you didn't plan things that well? Sure. You were like, this app would have been helpful. Um, most of the time that I've had <laughs> to do like essays, they end up in all-nighters. Oh. So Welcome if I could club. plan my days ahead of time, I could work on essays during the day instead of all night. Would you consider yourself a Lamonster? Uh, unfortunately, sometimes. Have you ever fallen asleep in Lamont? Uh, yes, I've like actively set alarms, taken naps. It's been bad. <laughs> okay. Have you ever gone? That, that's enough for now. Okay. <laughs> so walk us through how this app works. Sure. So whenever you're on the home page, okay. the app will show you your calendar for the day. So I've done this a few times, so there are a few things on it already. Uh, when you first set it up, you can add your classes and add when they are. Um, you can add any events you have to do. So I added in like breakfast from 9 to 9.45. And Best then, way to start a day. Yep. And then when you add your assignments, uh, let's say I have a paper, uh, let's say I'm English, let's say English, paper three. What are you, what are you writing it about? Um, we'll say it's on Shakespeare, but okay, I don't have to put, put that, that in. in. What play? Uh, Hamlet. Oh, it's too late! That's oh, okay. <laughs> uh, it takes a second but then it will add onto your daily schedule the first time which you're free to work on that paper. So since I, I have that. stuff going on all day, first time slot it found is four to 5.05 since I said it was 65 minutes long. And in my settings, you um, can put in where you like to work. So I put in Lamont already. Oh, I didn't even see yeah. that. <laughs> and so it will say work on English paper from four to 5.05, location Lamont. This is fantastic. Thank you. Have you used this to help you yet? Um, I haven't really been able to as it's sort of just been finished <laughs> <laughs> recently, but maybe I'll try to going forward. Yeah, what's your plan for next semester, schedule-wise? Um, what do you mean? Like, when are you waking up? Wait, uh, here it says 8 a.m., probably closer to 10 or so, but every day I wake up at 10 and then enter in my events on this schedule and then go forward from there, hopefully. Can you promise here and now to everybody watching at home that next semester you will not pull all-nighters because you'll be using your awesome schedule app? Uh, I promise I will try. <laughs> okay, that's all we can ask for. So, CS, so you were mentioning this a bit before, but three months ago, what background in computer science did you have? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm a junior studying economics. I like economics, but I thought uh, computer science would be cool to try, and I have really enjoyed it, but I have had zero experience coding beforehand. Well, not anymore. Yeah, okay. now I feel like an expert. So what, what led you to take CS50? Um, honestly, I had like had to do some stuff in Excel, and I thought that was cool, although like, I know that that's like not real coding, but there are like formulas in that, which I found really interesting okay. and fun to work with. So I thought like learning how to actually code would be really interesting. And now how do you feel about your computer science skills? Um, I feel as if they are infinitely better than they were before, <laughs> um, and uh, I think they're getting better every day. Is this something that you want to continue working on? Not necessarily this project, but computer science in general? Um, yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure about, like, I mean, I've obviously already decided concentration, but I think it will be fun to keep working on projects. And, like, I think there are definitely ways to make this project better, which I may do just for fun, so I can actually use it in the future. In the second half of the course, which sort of track, what, what did you focus on? I did WET. Okay, so if you had to pick between Python and C? Definitely Python. Why? Uh, it is more intuitive in my mind. It's like closer to English, so okay. you can sort of type out what you think. But C is watching right now and feels a little bad that you said that. Do you want to Sorry. say anything to C? Uh, it was definitely a good, good first language to learn. It helped, That's but nice. um, I think Python is the better one. Python's the way to go moving yeah. forward. And I took CS50 as a freshman. Good. It was wrecked me. Yeah, it was really hard, <laughs> but we made it through thanks to the yeah. support of a, a community of people. Mm -hmm. So, does anybody want to give a particular shout out to? who might be watching um, right now, and I thank them for helping you along this journey. Moshi, my section leader, he was great every uh, week, helping us through it, making sure we knew what we needed to know from lecture. What was your favorite part of Moshi's teaching? Uh, definitely the energy he brought to class. He was really excited every day to teach us what he knew. He was really passionate about the course. 
Did he have a favorite joke that he told you all? Um, no, I don't think he had one. Okay. Not that I can remember. I have a joke for you. Sure. What do you call a fish with no eyes? What? A fish. <laughs> heard that one before. <laughs> have you heard it before? Yeah. Okay, well, it's still pretty funny. It is, it is. It's a good one. Okay, thank you for showing me this fantastic project. Thank you. I love it. I hope it helps you next semester. Thank you. And I hope, are you going to share it with other people so it can help them too? Yeah, if I, I need to learn how to actually do that because right now it's on CSFD ID. But if well, I could perfect. get it that's on the That's the next like step in your journey. I could definitely send it around. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. We're sending it back to you all at the desk.